And and he understands how to get guys to not only play aggressive but play effective. First and ten at the 45. Has gone from the third stringer at the start of the year to the featured back. He's got it again, but has nowhere to go. Up from the secondary, Brendan White to help Haskell Garrett set up third down. They bring only three. Here's Morgan. Stanley Morgan weaves his way for close, but it doesn't look like he got it. Haskell Garrett came back to hit him. They've got to throw it to one of these tight ends. Second and eight at the ten. Charles again. No gain on the play. People are upset at you. Ooh, big tackle. Just flying right through Haskell Garrett. Loss of three. You'll see Haskell Garrett loops around. They had a little interior stunt with the defensive tackles. That created. Keeper. And Orkey immediately swarmed. They ganged up at him. That was Chase Young and Haskell Garrett with the penetration. And try to replace some of that disruptiveness and production. Martinez in trouble. Martinez is sacked. Haskell Garrett got back there quickly. Beautiful little swim move. Watch this. He's just going to pop right around that right guard, Matt Farniok, and he gets right to the quarterback, does a great job, and Martinez had no shot. It's going to be interesting to watch. Now he's going to try to take off. Felt he had nowhere to go. Dragged down from behind. Shoestring tackle there by Haskell Garrett. Stevie Scott, the pistol back. And they'll give it to him. Scott, he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Haskell Garrett, what a season. They pay it off. Running it. And it's Scott. Crashes into the line of scrimmage. No gain. And off to Hayward. Brought down at the line and thrown back again. It'll be third down. Hayward. Uh, Lombardi, rather, from the end zone. And that pass is knocked into the hands of Garrett. And he's got a touchdown. Hands up, mirror the hand of the quarterback. When his arm starts to throw, get your left hand up. Bop, and look how high that ball goes. And then the awareness to track it. First down and 10 at the 25. And they'll run it with Porter. And Porter this time goes nowhere. Ohio State ready for the play. Haskell Garrett. I think that tempo is taking a toll on their lack of depth right now. Second down and six. Porter. And he'll be tackled. Third and six at the 42. Ramsey steps up in the pocket. And tripped and goes down. Haskell Garrett again. He comes up and it looks like he tripped as he was trying to exit the pocket. Right here he gets caught up with his offensive lineman. That's Ethan Weidecker. And he goes down as Garrett was trying to chase him down. Play fake. Morgan in trouble. Stripped. Loose. Picked up. Ohio State's got it. Touchdown Haskell the Rascal. Garrett. Shot in the face last year, trying to break up a domestic dispute. Harrison gets it, and then here comes a big man. And how about that bounce? It goes right up, like right into his gut, right? Right place, right time for Haskell Garrett. But a beautiful rush for Zach Harrison. I was talking with strength coach Mick Moriarty before the game. I asked him, I said, hey, you tell me who had the best summer? Who's ready to explode? He said, Zach Harrison. And Tulsa's always, about every third or fourth year, been outstanding mm -hmm. because of the level of talent that they get there. There's Brooks again. Stopped by Haskell Garrett, 92. Irons as the pocket collapses. This time they get him to the ground. It's Haskell Garrett. Remember last time that Irons was able to escape. It was right through that guard tackle. Haskell Garrett says, not this time. I'm ready for you. I know exactly where we're going to try to go. And the All-American sheds a block and is able to get irons to the ground. Loss of five. Saw the yards. Both teams exactly 81. Irons tries to escape. There's Haskell Garrett again. Then a little help from his friends. As hoped for by this Ohio State front. 
and that's just the veteran savvy move there, Brandon, again. DJ Irons throwing a couple of interceptions in the first half, hands it off, and Haskell Garrett, another tackle. Irons threw a couple of interceptions himself in the first half, and this is the fifth time that he has been sacked. It's another one for Haskell Garrett. Well, Rick mentioned in the first half to get off. That hasn't changed here to start the second half. Haskell Garrett getting upfield. And then the extra point is blocked. Each week. And Larry Johnson says that's by design. And there's one of the old guys, Haskell Garrett, making the stop. Low snap, but handled. And the Bailoa is able to escape. Not this time. Sacked at the 30. Everybody else playing man underneath. And you're going to see Tonga Bailoa wants to go here. His receiver slips down out of the backfield. And then that four-man rush suffocates. And when you play someone like Talia, you have got to, as a defensive lineman, know that engine can't stop. He is not going to stop. Find a way to keep up with the fifth-ranked Buckeyes. And that potent attack, Tuttle will throw it on first down. Everybody covered. Tuttle wrapped up and sacked by Haskell Garrett. He's got four and a half sacks now. Dylan Naylor not available today, and that does certainly hurt their big playability. And there's a sack. Haskell Garrett storms in and knocks Thorne down. Sutton goes right by. Look how quick he gets off the ball. The left guard, Duplin, just didn't have a chance. You know, he's a powerful guy.